Hey everybody, we're here today at uh, a new spot. It's in an old part of town of uh, God's country that we've hunted before. Not hunted this spot, this spot's new. But we have found uh, things close to here within two or three miles. Uh, Civil War stuff, uh, even found colonial, found Spanish silver within two or three miles from here. But I just got my good, good target for the day, uh, a good target for the day. Uh, about a, it ain't a, probably a 30, mm, I don't know. It's a small musket ball, smaller musket ball. But uh, just got it. And uh, then drug, dug some shotgun shells and some modern stuff. And so, you know, when you get excited about a small musket ball, then you need to hunt harder. But uh, we've been here probably about 45 minutes. And we're going to get back at it. we got Mr. John with us and Josh. Mr. John's uh, the one letting us hunt over here. And we'll be back in just a little bit. We'll see. It's like 30. <laughs> it's like 38 degrees. And uh, Josh has uncovered a hibernating snake. Probably very, very, very lethargic. Where's he at? I don't see him. Oh, okay. No, oh, I didn't. Yeah. Well, that's not a snake. That's a skink. A what? A skink. A lizard. It's got four legs. There he is. A little old skink. Well, you'll find somewhere else to hibernate before you freeze to death. Uh, something pretty neat right here. It actually looks like an old brass ring. It's been smushed. See right here? It's got like a flower design on the front. Like maybe an old brass ring. Maybe had a stone in it at one time. Let Josh look at it. Yep. Well, that's pretty good. Moved to a different spot and then ran into two house sites. Hopefully we can get into some more. We'll be back when we do. Got some pretty good. I think it's a nickel. I don't know if it's a Jefferson nickel or what. I ain't, I ain't recovered it yet, but it's right down here. Right there. See it? It was kind of shallow, so it's a good possibility it might be a Jefferson. But it is a nickel. And it is. And it is. I can't tell. <laughs> I'm gonna put the camera down and clean it up and I'll be right back with you. <laughs> it's a V-nickel. Look at here. I think it's $18.99. Check that bad boy out. That's sweet. Woohoo! Cool beans, man. I'll sure take that every day. Man. Alright, let's go get some more. Wow. Ha <laughs> I like digging V-nickels. We'll be back. Well, I was just told I found a Burnside bullet. I thought it was either a Spencer or a Smith carbine. But, the Civil War stuff is in here. Here we go. There, see it? Pick it up. That is nice. Happy, happy, happy. That means there could be more in here. Good night. Look at that. Uh, I will take it ten times. Man, let's go get some more of this. There's got to be some more. You ready, Josh? Yep. Let's go. 
Josh has a two-piece button. I think it's an iron back, but it's got some kind of design on the front of it. Can't really tell what it is. It's like a cross in the middle or something. We'll get it cleaned up and get a better picture of it. Sweet, Josh. Josh said I might want to get this on video, so let's go over here and see what he's got. Better be good. I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, cool, that's a hill. Hill plate. Yep. Sure. Tiny one. Sure is. Tiny hill plate. I wonder if I that's probably one on a woman's shoe. Yep. That's nice. Yeah. Got the heart on it. Sweet. Way to go, Joe. I think I got a nice little flat button in the clot. See it right there. Let's see what we got here. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's got a design on it. That's cool. Kind of like Starburst or something shank still on the back sweet little decorative flat button i don't go on sure take it clean it up with just a tad hope we don't destroy it yeah look at that nice I like it. All right. We'll be back. Let's go get some more, and we'll be back, hopefully.